Hey guys, Jesse Singh here. I'm just gonna walk you through lead pages and how to build your capture pages and split test them. I'm just assuming that you guys have already set up Aweber properly. You have your list name in there, you got your follow-up messages, your links in your follow-up message are, messages are right. So after you've got, done all that, this is how I personally build capture pages and how I actually split test them and after all this I'll show you some tra traffic sources where you can send these links to so the first thing I do is I just click on templates up here and then I click on opt-in pages and then there'll be a massive selection of these pages. Uh, the one I mostly use is just this basic central center centered squeeze page. So use this and then just hit no thanks there. So there you go. So your capture page is up. So this is where you gotta um, use some good ad copy. I'm just um, you can actually to get ideas to get where to find good ad copy, you can actually log into your unit of prosperity site because that has some capture pages there for you. So I'm just going to log in and show you what I'm talking about. Um, capture pages, okay, and um, we'll just use this one for an example, okay. So my first capture page, it's going to split over here, split it up. Okay, so I'm going to copy exactly what you see here. So you can write free, actually what I do sometimes, you can test this out, 100% free. And then you can change the ad copy here. Discover how you can make... 87 per day guaranteed let me see if I can make it there you go and um, you can just actually leave it like that discover how you can make $587 per day guaranteed from home Okay, and then here you can just put enter your e email address below to get this free report. So you can write, so you can just actually leave it that way. I'll just change this to get access Oops. now. So now I'll just go back to this. So now once you've done your capture page, you hit OK. Uh, now you'll have to integrate it with Aweber. This is really easy. You just click on opt-in form integration and select Aweber. Uh, initially you might have to hit this reload form so just click that. It's gonna load up all the all your lists in Aweber. It'll take a few minutes And now once it's done, now you just go to your list name. And you should have a web form here. Like I have many, but you should have at least a web form here. <clears throat> if you don't know how to do that, it's very easy. Uh, I can actually just walk you through it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll walk you through it. So I'll just log into Aweber. Let's see. Okay, so to make a web form, so make sure you're on the right list. So right, mine is DS Domination 456. So then you just hit sign up forms, create a sign up form. I'll get rid of name and I'll get rid of all this stuff down here. You don't need all that. You just need pretty much that's all you need. Go to step two. And now you can name your web form. So you can just name it DSD form. 
or anything you want, doesn't matter. And for your thank you page, I would actually grab the sales page in uh, Unit of Prosperity. So what you can do is, see over here where it says view landing thank you pages? Just click on that. And the one I noticed does the best is this one right here. So what you do is, now your username should be here. So what you do is you highlight this, copy, okay? And then go back to your Aweber form and where it says custom page, you just paste that in there like that. Then you hit save form, you go next. And that's actually it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to do, I will, I will install my form. So now that we've built this, if you actually reload your forms again, it could take a couple of seconds. Okay. So, so under my list now, de installation 456 see, it's right here now. It's that simple, really. <clears throat> so, that's all you do there. I'm just thinking what I can use for now. Okay, I'll just use this one. Okay, so now you just make a page name once you're done with this. You can name it anything you want. That was right, DSD test 1. And then you hit save. And then you publish it and exit for now. And then this is where you split test. So if you have the second package, not the, the cheapest one, but like the $67 per month, you can actually start split testing your pages. So what you do is you just click here where it says AB test original. Then you add new variation. Okay. Click OK. And then you can just model it off the original one. So you can just click OK. Click on original. So now you can change this up. <clears throat> so you, you can change your ad copy to something else. You can write learn how to make $374 per day without selling and you can model it now let me see if I can do this a little better and there something like that so then you can save this okay and now you can make another variation so that's variation one. So add another variation. I usually make up to three. See how it shows the original variation one. So I'll just click on that one, variation one, and then I'll change this up. Learn how I went from broke to $394 per day using this simple system there you go okay that looks good to me and save okay so now that you've got your variation now we're just gonna find you a traffic source let me save it okay let me just see if it's there it's going to show up here. It's going to be yellow like this because that means there's more than one page. So when you click on your capture page, this is going to be your link. Now I'm just going to go back a step for a second. I'm just going to show you something. So when you click on analytic analytics, so when you drive traffic to this capture page, 
32% are going to go to your original one, 33% are going to go to your variation 2, and 33% are going to go to your variation 3. So then over here, we're going to see which one con converts the best. So let's see if this one converts at 20%, this one converts at 40%, this one does at 60 then I'll turn this one off. So I'll hit this, I'll just, I'll just bring this slider to zero. So then I'll, I'll continue to test these two and see which one does the best. And then from there, say you don't like one of these pages, you can actually just click on action and then delete that variation. And then that's it. So that's how, she's pretty simple. So the next thing you guys got to do is take your link let me just find my link here. So I just click on my DSD test one. So we're going to use this capture page. And it's going to switch to the other two variations while traffic's being driven to it. And then this program will actually track it. See how it says 0%? It'll show you the number of clicks right here and then number of opt ins. So this will track it all for you. So it's pretty good. So then I will test your first place to test this. Uh, this is a guy I know. That's really good. His name is James Starr. And he has tr really, really, really good traffic. Let me just find. Just click traffic. Uh, could be this one. Yeah, okay, found this page. This must be a newer one. All right. So, let me just check. It's 200. This is a little big. I want you guys to test at 100 clicks. Okay, let me find a different source. Actually, um, you know what? I would use this guy. I don't know. I got, I've had great results. It's 130 bucks for 200 clicks. So what you do is then you click add to cart. He'll give you instructions. He says after you order, you will be redirected to a page where you can fill out a form with your link and email swipe copy. Now you don't need to send them an email swipe copy. It's only optional. So what I would do is just send them this link copy and send him that link and then that's it and the, what you would do is once he starts driving traffic to your capture page then you just click on analytics and see which one does best pretty much that's it this is all really it this is all you have to do and it's all about testing and if you see none, none of these do well then you you know Say you're like, say halfway done, and then you see none of them do that well, make another variation. You can actually just make another variation and see how that one does. And and if you find the winner, delete the other two, and then that's it. And then you just scale up from there. And that's it for today. I hope you guys learned a lot. And if you have any questions, you can post them in the Facebook group. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.